二百一十八 Albuquerque Journal Santa Fe slow to recover from recession. 二零一五年七月十七日起 As last source, Albuquerque Journal. N M July 十七 Glassdoor economic risk lack of job growth and the small increase in the average hourly rate paid to workers were two of the main factors in Santa Fe coming in near the bottom of a list of metropolitan areas measuring recovery from the Great Recession. According to a recent study, Glassdoor Economic Research, an online website providing information to job seekers and businesses, ranked Santa Fe Sam 20th on a list of Sam Bucky's up to metropolitan areas. Mayor Javier Gonzalez said in a phone interview Thursday that he's not discouraged by the report. I'm not surprised with the ranking. But I do think that Santa Fe is very well pleased to see some rapid growth in areas of the economy that are critical, he said. As we go forward, we have to focus on what's right about our city and leverage that. We also have to develop those assets that are critical to our long-term growth. Those assets, he said, include Santa Fe's status as a global leader in the arts. And its proximity to Los Alamos and the technology being fasted there at the National Laboratory, Glassdoor ranked the metropolitan areas by a measure it calls a recovery index, which it says measures the economic health of a metro area. Comparing data from Yitin Lingao with the most recent figures available, it derived the index using the percentage change in the unemployment rate. That the percentage change in total employment and the percentage change in the average for hourly wages as indicators, Santa Fe was one of just seven metro areas with a recovery index in the negative at minus ling dim ling yi. According to the study, Santa Fe's unemployment rate, traditionally low when compared to cities in the region, and now at say dim yi percent, dropped yet dim yi percentage points since yi tin ling gao. But the number of people employed in the city also declined, down by one percent. The hourly pay rate has increased just yet percent in Santa Fe post recession, even as both the city and county, the county being included in the metro area, have imposed living wage increases. In both jurisdictions, the minimum wage has risen to what is now making up the impasse among the highest living wages in the country. Gonzalez says the living wage shouldn't be blamed for Santa Fe's poor ranking in the study. I don't see it as having an impact on the economic environment. That we are falling short of the availability of jobs that allow for upward mobility to occur, he said. What's happened in the past seven or years of years is we've had an inverse relationship between an aging population and wages. While the average age in Santa Fe has gone up, wages have gone down. This inverse relationship we have to correct. Simon Brackley, president and CEO of the Santa Fe Chamber of Commerce, disagrees, at least with the part about the living wage impact on the economic environment. I call it a mandated minimum wage, which is what it really is, said Brackley, who suggests the wage set by the city and county governing board is works to the detriment of Santa Fe's economy. What it does is inhibit young people's ability to get into the workforce. Quarterly reports by the State Department of Workforce Solutions verify job losses in Santa Fe for May of this year. The department showed Lok Manya Tin Yapak total jobs in Santa Fe County in May Yitin Ling Pak. The total was Lok Manya Tin Yapak. The biggest loss was in the jobs category that includes construction. There were 18 Papak jobs in the county for this category in May 18 Ling Pak when home building was booming, compared to only 18 Tat Pak now. Besides Santa Fe, three other New Mexico metropolitan areas showed up in the Glassdoor study. Albuquerque ranked Yet Pak Nsapsade with a positive recovery index score of Ling Dim Yet Lok. Farmington was Yet Pak Pasap Ngs, Ga Ling Dim Yet Se, and LAS Cruces was Yi Pak Yet Sap Tat. Galing Dim Yet Yi, Santa Fe and Albuquerque have very similar wage rates. The May Yi Tin Ling Yi Subsay numbers from the Federal Bureau of Labor Statistics show Santa Fe's median holy wage at May Yun Sub Ng Dim Tat Gao, compared to May Yun Sub Ng Dim Gao Yi in Albuquerque.
The mean or average hourly wage in Santa Fe was made in 23.43 and it was made in 23.92 in Albuquerque. The summary of the Glassdoor report says its study provides two big takeaways for job seekers. 1. Labor markets and local and different areas are impacted by different factors. An example of that is metropolitan areas in Texas been a fighting from a strong energy economy. Five of the top sub-recovered metro areas on the list are located in Texas, the report pointing to strong job growth, primarily in jobs in the energy industry, as a reason. Second, although job seekers can't control economic trends in their city, they can always control what city they call home, the report says. Government cutbacks. One area where Santa Fe has lost employment is in government jobs, which tend to be higher paying and may account for such a small increase in the mean hourly wage in the Glassdoor report. The Legislative Finance Committee produces a monthly report of people working for state agencies statewide. The most recent report shows that the state government employs about 18 but 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 a fewer people as of July than it did on that date in 18 Lingao, with many state agencies based in the state capital. An assumption can be made that Santa Fe was hit harder than other cities in the state. Department of Workforce Solutions reports showed total government jobs in the city, federal, state and local. Tittled as much as say back more positions in Yi Tin Lingao, asked to comment on some of the factors impacting Santa Fe's economy. Andrew Chamberlain, chief economist at Glassdoor, said in an email that aging population and many government jobs, which typically take the long years to fill, can impact Santa Fe's ability to fill jobs and attract and retain a younger workforce. Brackley said government is one of the main sectors that most impacts Santa Fe's economy. There are really three legs to our economic stool, tourism, government and Los Alamos national labs, and all three of those sectors are slow to fall into a recession and slow to recover, he said. We are not as affected as a single industry town. We are slower to react to most trends in that regard. The report states that the hardest hit areas are generally those with the most inflated real estate markets. Chamberlain said the falling home prices during the recession had a devastating effect on the construction industry, and those falling home prices, along with rising unemployment, sent millions of home owners into foreclosure. That drop in household wealth led to cutbacks in consumer spending spreading the recession's effects throughout the economy. This explains in part the impact on Santa Fe, with tourism being a major industry and a drop in consumer spending, a city reliant on that spending will struggle to get back on its feet. Arts economy hit Santa Fe is known as a mecca for arts and culture, and a report last year by the University of New Mexico Bureau of Business Cup Economic Research illustrates the impact the recession had on those industries. The report, titled Building on the Past, Facing the Future, Renewing the Creative Economy of New Mexico, was commissioned by the New Mexico Department of Cultural Affairs. The Great Recession has had a near devastating impact on the arts and cultural, and C, industries, it says, adding that about one in sub jobs, mm -mm percent of all jobs in the state, fall into those categories, but it also says that arts and culture could help drive the state's economic recovery, with the proper level of support and evolution. The arts and cultural industries could be leveraged to help power the New Mexico economy as it emerges from the economic recession. As director of the city's economic development division, Kate Noble's job is to improve the business climate in Santa Fe. Our work in economic development is to diversify the economy, she said. We also know that professional and tech services are projected to grow. And those are areas we are focusing on, Noble said software, computer applications and technology, things that spin out of Los Alamos National Laboratory, are among the Santa Fe metropolitan areas assets, art and scientific applications around computers and software are areas of strength, and we are looking to build upon that, she said. 
along those lines, the city has embarked on a million yep million broadband infrastructure project about a month away from completion. With it, and the higher internet speeds it will provide, the city hopes to make Santa Fe a more appealing place for tech companies. In addition to that million yep million investment, Noble said the city spent close to million bus up man last fiscal year in various other areas of economic development. About half of that amount went to the Santa Fe Business Incubator, a non-profit group that provides entrepreneurial support services to small businesses and the community. The city also partners with Startup Santa Fe and Mix Santa Fe. Noble described Startup Santa Fe as sort of a match come for entrepreneurs, where businesses can connect with people with certain skills. Mix Santa Fe is aimed specifically at young entrepreneurs. It hosts the annual Bismix Business Plan competition for business startups, with more than a certain ventures this year. The competition has been whittled down to certain finalists competing for a total of million yuan in cash and prizes. I'm really impressed with the quality and diversity of businesses in the competition this year, Noble said. The entrants include Enchanted Barrel Exchange a craft beer tap room and brewery that offers seminars and hands-on experience for beer enthusiasts, Kitalu, a Kitalu box designed to be environmentally friendly, and paddle speed bags, handmade bike bags for cyclists to carry their gear. Gonzalez said developing sectors in Santa Fe, such as the film industry and outdoor recreation, which remains largely untapped, also leave room for growth. Our broad vision is to keep unemployment low and work to develop growth in Santa Fe's economy. Until we see that growth, it will be difficult, but we have to remain laser-focused on doing what we do well and leveraging our assets. Copyright, C. Yi Tin Ling Yasapn The Albuquerque Journal, Albuquerque, N. M. Visit the Albuquerque Journal, Albuquerque, N. M at www.apicjournal.com distributed by Tribune Content Agency, LLC.